DJ here with Celeb Music 247.com. We're here with Mikey of Anti Serum. Hi. Hi. Tell us about the tour. You were just uh, starting in to tell us. So. Well, uh, I think this is uh, day eight. I think it's either seven or eight. We're here in Mountain View at Shoreline Amphitheater. It's the first time I've ever been here, and I uh, I'm actually a Bay Area resident. I uh, lived in San Francisco since uh, 2001, so stoked to finally make it down here after you know so many years. Uh, yeah, today was awesome. Great energy. I played on the B-Port stage uh, at 3:55, and it was it was awesome. I had my whole family out. My mom came out, Aww. and yeah, it was, it was awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, so how, how's the re response right now for you? Uh, it's cool. Um, so from what I know, it's this is like the second year they've had uh, like a lot of DJs on the tour. I'm, I'm primarily like a producer DJ, so uh, it's kind of. At first, I was a little skeptical about it all because it's mainly bands and stuff like that. But it's been cool. Like uh, lots of uh, people coming up to me and saying that they've never heard of me and, and that they really enjoyed it. So um, it's been great. Like I, f I feel like um, I have a little bit of an edge. You know, I play completely different music than everyone else here. So um, it's been great. Great exposure. Tell us a little bit about your music. It's so cool. uh, it's 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 space music. Um, it uh, it ranges. It's all different tempos, um, but it's at the, at the heart of it. There's a lot of sub bass. It kind of rattles you. Uh, lots of influences from uh, hip hop and rap music. Um, I work with lots of uh, rappers, so um, it's kind of like futuristic uh, kind of rap dance music. Um, cool. Who are yeah. some of the rappers you work with? Uh, we're with uh, Waka Flocka, Flame, uh, a, a lot of. Atlanta-based rappers. I was gonna say are you South. Yeah, I like the South stuff. Uh, Q, I got to work on a record with this guy Q. I know that. Works with Migos. Um, work with a lot of uh, rap producers too. Ke on the track. Um, yeah, I, I love the Atlanta rap sound. I'm, I'm constantly going back and forth. But most of the uh, stuff that I'm trying to do right now is kind of fusing rap and this kind of EDM. It, it, it it's called a lot of people call it trap, but um, that's. I could spend like an hour talking about that term and why. Oh, no, no. No, tell us a little bit about uh, yeah, that. I want your take sure. on trap. Yeah. Well, trap trap music for me is, um, it's it's been around for a while. I feel like uh, guys like T.I. and um, uh, Young Jeezy kind of originated this this trap sound. It was, it was um, you know, it's, it's rap music, uh, you know. Uh, it's 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 kind of, it's cocaine music, you know. Um, <laughs> as, and, and now, like, uh, it's kind of come back around, and all these these younger kids are calling this new sort of form of EDM trap. But it's really been around for a while, and um, I don't know. I just always feel weird calling it trap. I feel like it just it doesn't make sense. Um, but uh, you have to make a new name for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to call it turned up internet music. I mean, yeah, it's, it's yeah, been yeah. around for a while. I feel like a lot of people missed out on that that time. It was like maybe ten years ago. It was like starting to kind of. Bubble. Early cheesy and early yeah, yeah, like that's that's real trap music, you know, like talking about you know selling selling drugs out of trap houses and stuff like that. It's, it's real like hood hood music, but I, I try to incorporate a little bit of that into what I do, but not you know just just a hint of it. Um, just mainly with like the drums and, and the the hi hats and stuff, and uh, uh, it's very dark, very dark music. Um, but it's all it's very hyper. Like people get crazy to they mosh to it. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, it's 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 fun. It's so they've been going. They've been moshing here. Yeah, yeah. Like it was full on mosh pit. Oh, I said yeah. today. Um, I've been like jumping in the crowd and crowd surfing. <laughs> it's, it's wild. Yeah. People That's get nice. really really hyper to it. That's hot. So do you do you sample Ti and Jeezy and Walker and all yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, pretty much. My, I feel like one of my biggest tracks that I did a couple years ago, Samples Walk and Flock, it's called Brick Squad Anthem. Yep. Um, and that kind of sort of started this whole thing for me. And, and before this, I did a lot of dubstep, drum and bass, uh, stuff like that. But but this is kind of like uh, giving my career a new life, sort of. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I love it. It's, it's fun. It's party time music, you know, it's, it's not um, it's not too serious. So what's a, a, a new, uh a trap artist that you would like look out for or say people have to watch out for? New new trap artists. Um, uh, this guy uh, Ricky Remedy out of uh, Miami. Uh, this guy Snails out of Montreal who I just I just did a record with him on uh, Skrillex's label. It came out about a month ago. Um, he's he's doing great stuff. Um, 
my boy Mayhem from Atlanta, who I write most of my music with, is is insanely talented. Years. Um, I really want to work more with with pop, um, you know, pop singers, uh, R and B. Uh, I I just want to kind of work on some bigger, more commercial projects, and. Um, do you want to fuse the, the trap with the pop? Yeah, I mean, I I, I mainly I, bass? I love I would I would love to just like work in a studio all day and just do production mainly like DJing is, is really fun but it's like it's it's hard like traveling and, and um, I'm just kind of starting to slow down a little bit <laughs> but I, I really enjoy um, you know just production mainly being in studios making beats and I, I just want to do more bigger you know more more mainstream stuff. Who's a um, uh, pop artist that you want to work with right now? Oh man, um, I mean, I'd love to work like with like Rihanna. Bands. They're cool, they're cool. Um, it, it, it's different. Um, it, it's been really hard because we've been in like Houston and um, in Texas and stuff and it's just been so hot and like being out in the, in the heat for, for eight hours is just it's draining. But this is Bay, like the best weather we've had. In Houston, in the Bay, in Atlanta, the music just merges. Yes. And then yeah, yeah. Everyone from there, from here, everyone yeah. loves each other. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's crazy. You're you're absolutely right. Like I feel this. There's a there's a cool vibe uh, when when uh, Bay Area producers and rappers get together with Atlanta producers and rappers. It's like this nice uh, blend. Because I feel like yeah, the Bay is like really on the um, you know on the forefront of, of, of innovative uh, hip hop yeah. music and stuff. And, and same with Atlanta. And, and yeah, like I just, um, like I said, my buddy Mayhem, who I write all the stuff with, is in Atlanta, and it's just like so easy getting together with him and working. It's just like, I don't know, it just happens. We don't have to force anything. Um, but yeah, there is a, there is a cool connection between uh, the Bay. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And uh, ATL for sure. Yeah, um, it's been like that for years. Obviously. Yeah. You go to other cities, you're like. Why don't they connect? Yeah, and the music is just seems better. The radio seems better. Yeah, there's like a yeah, there's a million rap stations in Atlanta. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, that's funny that you mentioned that because I I totally agree. It's, yeah. it's a cool cool connection. Any artists in the Bay that you'd work with? Um, I'm doing a remix for this uh, guy Bass Nectar right now. He's over in Berkeley. I love Bass um, Nectar. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to even talk about, it, but I guess. I think I need to go now. next. Like, oh, what's the next level for it, and and who are your your three standouts of it? Man, it's, it's tough to say where it's going. I, I just really see uh, you know the hip hop world and, and the and the EDM dance music world just come together more. You got you got guys like Waka Flocka who who are now um, you know playing these big EDM festivals. You know he's at the top of all these bills now. He's kind of changing his direction um, and. Uh, yeah, all, all because of, of you know tunes like Brick, Brick Squad, the one that Mayhem and I did. He he really expressed to us that that was it. Kind of changed the way he thought about music, and, and now he's kind of taking this this EDM direction. It's awesome. So I just see more of that. Just more more like mainstream rappers, R and B, um, with a lot of uh, with EDM production under their like their Skrillex bubble. and Flossadamus. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Floss Floss and Skrillex. Those are you know people that I really look up to a lot. I, I work with both of them. Um, yeah, I just saw Flossadamas, they were dope. Yeah, no, they're awesome. Um, but yeah, they, they play our stuff, you know, and all their sets, and, and Skrillex, like I said, I just put out a record with him, so he's been very supportive. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I just I just see the, all these these worlds just, just getting closer and closer. And with the, tr the new new trap style music, I feel like it's is way more acceptable for um, these these rappers like it more than like, like dubstep, for example. I feel like it was like almost there, but maybe just a bit too aggressive. And um, and now it's, I feel it's, it's at a nice balance. Like there's still a lot of energy, but there's room for, for vocals. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let me ask you this question. So yeah. with Skrillex and, and Flossadamas, are they in that trap zone? Yeah. Are they on the cusp of it? Yeah, they, they all, they play, I mean Skrillex plays all sorts of, of stuff. Like right. uh, he's not, uh, Flossadamas is more like they play rap and they play trap and, and maybe it, uh, some hard style kind of stuff, but but yeah, they're known for for trap music mainly. Because I mean, I know I know the whole EDM because I love EDM, but I'm just yeah. trying to like, I guess break the bands where they would be categorized in it's, EDM. It's, it's so hard. There's really, no category. Man, it, right? I, it's just so hard to, to to categorize stuff anymore. It's just all everyone's just playing like everything now. Like 
uh, five, ten years ago, it's like you were either you were a drum and bass DJ producer, you were a, a hip hop DJ producer, um, house. But now you know some house guys are playing trap music, and it's just like everyone's kind of like just playing everything now, and it's all acceptable. Um, and you know, it's cool. Like it's 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 hard to really classify genres now. Like it's just all just mushing together. You know, awesome. I, yeah, it's it's exciting for me. Like it's it, it keeps things exciting. Like. I was, I was just getting super bored with just straight dubstep Any quick words of wisdom to go out and give to your fans and other people that are trying to do what you're doing? Yeah, uh, I, I always say the same thing, just put in put in the work, you know, uh, dedicate six, eight hours a day in the studio. If you want to be a producer, like however many hours you put in is what you will get out of it. And uh, there's no way around it. Like, um, uh, yeah, just like I, just spend like eight hours a day and put five, ten years into it, and you know you'll probably you'll see some success. You know. I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. Do you get to sleep? Do I do I sleep? Yeah. Because most artists I know are what like yeah, it's like an hour or two hours. I mean, on this tour, yeah, it's been you know two, three hours a night maybe. Right. Uh, but I don't really need a lot of sleep to to, to run. I just you know. Great. Yeah, I got I got energy. Yo, this is Mikey, aka Anis here. <laughs> We're here at Shoreline Amphitheater for Warp Tour 2014, and you are tuned in to Celebin Music 24/7.